Launch Achievements is indeed SpaceX's pride, what makes it stand out from the rest of the global space industry. However, SpaceX is also excelling in another aspect, not only dominating commercial giants, but also creating billions of dollars that shock NASA. All will be revealed in today's episode of Alpha Tech. Three, two, one, liftoff. SpaceX certainly has a benchmark year in 2023 for Falcon launch rockets. The company surpassed its own annual launch record to date. But even so, the 98 launches SpaceX accomplished only came close to achieving the goal of 100 launches as promised by SpaceX. So, will Elon Musk try the magical number 100 again in 2024? Yes, and he doesn't plan to stop there. He's aiming higher, 144 rocket launches in 2024. However, I'm sure that many people will wonder what motivates SpaceX to continuously increase the number of launches. Is it because the number of customers pre-booking rocket flights is going up? Well, that's true, but it's only a small part of the number of launches Elon Musk has a sight set on. In fact, what provides the most motivation for SpaceX is Starlink. I know that most space enthusiasts, including myself, often focus more on Falcon or Starship rocket launches that unintentionally overlook that Starlink is truly key to the enormous profits. Furthermore, at the current moment, Starlink is being evaluated by financial researchers and analysts as surpassing expectations with its rapid development pace. The report, discussed by Quilty Space Analysts on a webinar May 9th, forecasts that Starlink's on track to generate a staggering $6.6 .6 billion in revenue this year defying industry skepticism and rewriting the future of satellite internet. Remember back when both SpaceX and another company, OneWeb, announced plans to build mega constellations in 2015 to provide broadband internet from low Earth orbit? There was a lot of skepticism in the space community at that time because such plans had come and gone before, including a $9 billion constellation proposed by Teledesic with about 800 satellites, only to put a single demonstration satellite up into space. People thought it'd be too difficult to launch so many spacecraft and too technically challenging to make them all communicate with each other. Back in 2015, when SpaceX and OneWeb announced these mega constellations, many industry veterans scoffed, said Chris Quilty, founder of Quilty Space. They remember past satellite broadband ventures failing in the 90s. Industry watchers expect Starlink to make a mark, but not to this degree, he noted. Hence, this could be considered a remarkable turnaround in SpaceX's and Elon Musk's long term vision. It's incredibly smart how they know how to leverage the resources they had to achieve their goals while also being able to do other things that may not be directly related to their industry. To be honest, it's clear that SpaceX has succeeded in the challenges of launches and technology. This leads to the benefits of Starlink that leave us in awe. There's no denying that 2023 was a year of celebrating victories for SpaceX, as we just mentioned. And this year, SpaceX is certainly not letting us down. Testifying before the U.S. Senate Subcommittee on Space and Science in October, SpaceX's Vice President for Build and Flight Reliability, Bill Gerstenmaier, said SpaceX aims to launch once every 2.8 days in 2024. That's 144 launches altogether. Many of these launches will feature Falcon 9 rockets carrying Starlink satellites to orbit. 65% of the company's launches in 2023 involve such missions. While it's true that SpaceX has already got the largest constellation of satellites in orbit, over 6,000 Starlinks, the company has permission from the government to put 12,000 up there, and it's seeking permission to launch a total of 42,000. What's more, SpaceX is now launching larger versions of Starlink, which limits each launch to carrying at most 23 Starlink satellites to orbit. Earlier, smaller Starlink payloads meant that each launch could carry 60 of the smaller satellites at a time. As a result, even with so many satellites already in orbit, SpaceX will actually need to launch more missions of Starlink, but not fewer, to accelerate its launch cadence to grow its constellation going forward. Jonathan Hoffler, vice president of Starlink and commercial sales at SpaceX, said, We're going strong. We're launching twice a week now, which is insane. Although SpaceX is a private company and the financial information of Starlink is not publicly disclosed, the company's rapid growth has spurred further research into what's driving the effectiveness of Starlink's operations. So, what's the basis for Starlink's explosive growth? The answer lies in their subscribers. Well, speaking of subscribers, you could always give us one like and one subscribe to motivate our brains to make more interesting videos for you to watch every day. But let's get back to the main issue. With SpaceX's Starlink that currently has over 5,200 active internet users and broadcast to 2.7 million subscribers in 75 countries. 
This is even more than the two companies dominating the GEO satellite internet market for consumers for over 20 years, which peaked at a total of 2.2 million subscribers in 2020. The financial outlook is equally impressive. Quilty Space estimates Starlink's earnings before interest, taxes, depreciation, and amortization to reach $3.8 billion in 2024, a significant leap from negative $128 million in 2022. We expect Starlink to achieve positive free cash flow for the first time in 2024, said Quilty. Starlink's success is also attributed to its traction in wealthier countries with customers willing to pay a premium, said Justin Cadman, co-chief executive of Quilty Space. For now, it's a rich world service, catering to middle and upper income markets, not necessarily bridging the digital divide, he noted. Quilty estimates Starlink's current subscriber base includes roughly 50,000 mobility, enterprise, and government users, excluding those supporting Ukraine. The initial focus on direct-to-consumer sales allows Starlink to scale rapidly, said Quilty. Now they're expanding into enterprise, mobility, and government markets. Not only that, another factor behind Starlink's financial success lies in SpaceX's adept manufacturing capability. According to Caleb Henry, research director at Quilty Space, Starlink has been able to do an incredible job at keeping the spacecraft costs lower than basically any industry precedent. Quilty estimates the cost of Starlink satellites has evolved significantly. While the first-generation V1 satellites were produced for around $200,000 each, the latest V2 mini version carries a heftier price tag of $800,000, but that reflects its increased size and capabilities from 260 kilograms to 730 kilograms. Looking ahead, Quilty projects the future V3 satellite will weigh in at a substantial 1,500 kilograms and cost roughly $1.2 million. So, how has SpaceX achieved this cost advantage? Henry points to two major factors, aggressive vertical integration and high volume production. By controlling a large portion of the manufacturing process in-house, explained Henry, SpaceX avoids profit margins typically added by external suppliers keeping costs down. For example, we were subsidizing terminals, but we've been iterating on our terminal production so much that we're no longer subsidizing terminals, which is a good place to be, Jonathan Hoffler, SpaceX Vice President of Starlink and Commercial Sales, said during a panel at the World Satellite Business Week conference. When SpaceX first started selling Starlink services, company leadership stated that the cost of producing each terminal device was around $3,000 U.S. dollars. The company improved that figure to about $1,300 US dollars per terminal device by early 2021. The terminal devices now have a manufacturing cost of less than $600 US dollars each, the savings in mass production that Hoffler sees as one of our keys to success. Additionally, SpaceX has established an unprecedented production cadence, churning out satellites at a rate unseen before in the industry. This focus on efficiency comes with trade-offs. As Henry highlights, the spacecraft has gotten more powerful to handle increased capacity and data rates, but that comes with increased power burden that translates to higher cost and mass. Quilty Space estimates that roughly 3,000 of SpaceX's 13,000 employees are dedicated to Starlink. Henry predicts that if SpaceX's next-generation Starship rockets become operational for Starlink deployments by 2025, they might jump straight to launching the V3 version of their satellites. Indeed, once Starship is put into operation, the Starlink system will enter a new chapter, not only because Starlink V3 has superior capabilities, but also because of the extensive capabilities of Starship. With its immense power and full reusability, Starship will be able to carry the largest payload in the world at an extremely low cost. While the Falcon 9 rocket was launched at a price of $67 million U.S. million, SpaceX has stated that the operating cost is about $28 million U.S. million per launch. However, Elon Musk has declared that Starship's full reusability will reduce the cost to as low as $2 million U.S. million a launch, significantly lowering the cost of accessing Earth orbit by an order of magnitude or even further, meaning a reduction of about 10 times. That's all for today's episode. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.